The main purpose of wireless is to replace cable. Most devices become wireless in 2019. Currently, total bandwidth of FCC unlicensed devices in 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz are 573.5 MHz. Unlicensed 60 GHz from 57 GHz to 71 GHz has 14,000 MHz usable bandwidth. What's the advantage of wider bandwidth? You can see there are a bigger faucet and a smaller one in the picture. Let's assume the water is transmission data. You can see the bigger faucet is three times faster than the smaller one. This table shows the theoretical data rate. 11 AX transmission can reach 10 gigabits per second. 11 AY is up to 20 gigabits per second. The relationship between transmission frequency and the distance. Transmission frequency higher, transmission distance shorter. This table shows a device with receiver sensitivity minus 90 dBm. For 2.4 GHz, transmission distance is 310 meters. 12 meters for 60 GHz. Currently, there are a lot of 2.4 GHz users. 2.4 GHz transmission distance is long, but the usable bandwidth is narrow. Therefore, there is more interference from other devices in 2.4 GHz, which means 60 GHz transmission distance is shorter but with less interference. The unlicensed frequency band at 60 GHz is suitable for high-end products. There are some products using 60 GHz indoor devices, such as home theaters, projectors, TV games, or 4K AK TVs. Outdoor point-to-point -point applies to high-speed data transmission devices. The application of 60 GHz to portable devices like cell phones, GoPro, VR is common as well. This is real test waveform of 60 GHz device. The occupied bandwidth and the mask. Sporton test scope accredited by FCC is up to 280 GHz. In Europe, EN302567 requires additivity mechanism. Additivity is a mechanism which communicates between each wireless device, also called spectrum sharing. For example, there are two networks in the same room and use the same channel. If they support additivity mechanism, they will communicate with one another. When network A is transmitting, network B does not transmit any data. It is not transmitting until network A stops data transmission. The process is repeated to achieve the purpose that keeps multi-users on the same channel without interfering with one another. To be more specific, having no additivity is like traffic rules are not followed. The street is channeled and the vehicles are data. What will happen without traffic rules? <coughs> the accidents can be easily avoided by following traffic rules. It will be faster if all vehicles communicate with one another. This is the data of additivity. 
We use the scope to analyze the signals and then turn them into voltage. We separate test devices and the companion device signals to make sure the test is accurate. This is the test data of additivity with 100% duty cycle interference. It requires interference signals over 100 GHz for the blocking test in EN305550. Borton is able to generate signals up to 130 GHz. 